it's about time for us to start digging into the lovely world of seven string guitars. They're my absolute favorite. But today we're gonna to talk about a couple things with seven string guitars. We're gonna talk about seven strings in general, how we tune the seven string, how we play really cool sounding riffs on the seven string, but even further, what other tunings exist. And mostly, how do they sound? Considering I have three seven string guitars that I go to all the time with different tuning on each, we can do it. So let's start things off. Worst intro ever. Hey, before we kick things off, make sure you subscribe and get the alerts going as well because I wanna make sure that we continue to do these videos weekly for you and you actually see them. So first up is the Misha HT7 from Jackson in this way too bright for life orange. What can I say? I like, I like flashy colors. The standard tuning for a seven string guitar just adds a lower B. B as in boy, B as in the B note. So from low to high, it would go B, E, A, D, G, B, E. However, none of my guitars are tuned that way. This one specifically is standard tuning, so the same intervals across the board, but it's an entire half step down. So B flat or A sharp is my lowest note, my lowest string, and it's the same intervals as standard tuning across the board. I like that tuning every now and then just because of the tension that you still have with your typical string setup on the guitar. And I've done videos before where I explain the key difference of keeping that tuning and not dropping that lower string because it easily extends the scale to the full three octaves on our seven string guitars. But what does it sound like to have a seven string guitar tuned down just a half step? <laughs> Heavy is the answer. It sounds pretty, pretty heavy and chunky. So how does this tuning sound in an actual seven string guitar riff? Which by the way, I'll use the same riff with all of the different guitars so that you can compare the sound of the tuning, but also the guitars as well. Why not? Not bad, considering all I'm doing on this seven string guitar is tuning down a half step across the board. But what happens if you tune down a half step and then you drop that low B string to now match what would be that A flat or G sharp? Mark Holcomb PRS7 has entered the chat. That's what the kids say, I think. This is my PRS Mark Holcomb signature seven string guitar. And very similar to the Misha, who, who knew? Who knew I'd get a Misha and then a Holcomb? But similar to that, I tune down a half step across the board, but the only difference is that I take that low string and I match it and do a drop tuning, very similar to something like drop D. So again, we tune down an entire half step, so the low string would have been a B flat or A sharp, but our A string would have then turned into an A flat or a G sharp, same note. So all I'm going to do is match that lowest string to match that note, A flat, G sharp. And it gives us this seven string version of a drop tuning. How's it sound? Okay. Sounds okay to me. One of the key reasons we do that drop tuning on our seven strings every now and then is to really tap into easier chords, but easier riffs. Because now that lower open string matches that next string down's fifth fret. Let alone if you just play the bottom three strings open, it makes a power chord. So it's real easy to just kind of do this kind of th thing as well. I don't recommend that, but let's hear how this thing sounds with the same riff.
Not too bad at all, but can we go heavier? Can, can we go heavier with our seven string guitar tuning and guitar riffs? Yeah. I'd like to introduce you to the Jason Richardson Cutlass signature from Ernie Ball Music Man. And uh, this thing is a beast. Now, instead of going for an approach of down tuning and then drop tuning on this one, I opted to set this guy up in standard tuning and I dropped the entire thing a whole step. So that low B is now an A, the E is now a D, the D is now a C, and so on and so on. So very similar to the Misha, but just another half step down to get that little bit of extra metal out of those seven string guitar riffs. So let's peep it. Do you say peep if you're listening? I don't know. Let's li listen to it. By going down, we still have the familiarity of the standard tuning and the ability to stretch our scales and our chords, but by going down that whole step, it really adds a super massive amount of dirt and grunge and heavy metal. Let's see it in the, in the riff. So as you can see, a lot of it is similar, but there are these subtle differences in tone and pitch and really like dirt and grunge. Of course, that varies on the guitar itself as well. I'm sure that the pickups, the body, everything definitely takes part in that. But at the core, it really opens up your flexibility and creativity and ability to tap into sounds that you didn't even know existed when you kind of take into consideration all of these different tunings and you test them out for yourself. Now, of course, there aren't just these three tunings. It's an infinite amount of tuning. But hopefully this video serves in a way as an intro so that you can start dabbling into different seven string guitar tunings for your seven string guitar riffs. Now I will say, big disclaimer, if you're doing massive changes to the guitar, to changing your string gauge, changing the tuning in a massive way, make sure you do it right. And if you don't know how to set up your guitar or you're not confident in it, don't. Go find somebody that really knows what they're doing and they'll do it extremely well for you. But I'm also interested in what tunings you prefer for your seven string guitar. So make sure you tell me in the comments. And as always, make sure you subscribe make sure you follow, make sure you're up to date on all of these videos. Know that I appreciate you and leave a comment. Say hey, ask questions, and we'll chat in the comments. But until next time, rock on, rock on.